All right, I'm standing here next to this giant excavator. It's got a massive bucket on it. I mean, this is a huge piece of equipment and it's here for a purpose. It's here to move some big rocks. It's here to move some heavy dirt. Uh, and it's part of the project I was talking about last week where they're redoing the shoreline to help with, uh, with pollution, help keep the water clean, help provide some habitat. It's part of a big project. But here's the deal. It didn't get here by mistake. Somebody drove it here. Someone intentionally brought it here and it came for a purpose to get a job done. Now, what does that have to do with CDN? And what does that have to do with this for this video? We're praying through Isaiah 55. And two weeks ago, I asked you to pray through verses 10 and 11 and just ask the Lord what he would have for you. Last week, I invited you to dig deep, no pun intended, <laughs> dig deep into verse 10 today. And for this next week, I want you to focus on verse 11. Now we're getting close to the catalyst gathering. It's coming up and I want you to focus your prayers there. Remember, we're all praying this together. We're asking God to speak to us. And then when we come together, we hope that God will have spoken to us, we'll hear from the Lord and we'll encourage one another because of it. So verse 10 has to do with the rain and the, the plants growing and the harvest and, you know, the seed that's produced, all of that. But verse 11 kind of wraps it up. It gives you the, the application of the illustration. And it says this, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. So here's what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to focus and pray through verse 11 this week. What does that Lord have for us in verse 11? So it is with the word that comes out of the Lord's mouth. It does not return empty. In other words, it's sent with a purpose. It will accomplish everything that the Lord desires. That there's authority with that. There's a confidence in that statement. It will accomplish everything the Lord desires and it will achieve the purpose for which it was sent. Like there's action there. It will, it will achieve the purpose for which it was sent. It will, it will fulfill what it was intended to do. Just like this machine someday is gonna get back on a truck and go to another job site when the job here is done when the work is finished, it was sent here and it will achieve the purpose for which it was sent. Uh, in the same way, the word of God is sent and the Lord says it will not return to him empty. It will achieve the purpose for which it was sent. Now, I don't wanna preach this verse to you. I could, I'm getting, I'm getting fired up here, but I want you to pray through it. Over these next few days, as we look ahead to the catalyst gathering, will you pray? through this verse. What does the Lord have for you? Maybe for your family, for your ministry. And what does the Lord have for us in his word? Would you seek the God, heart of God with me? So my word that goes out from my mouth, it will not return empty, but it will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. It's the word of the Lord. Thanks for your prayers. We're looking forward to gathering with you uh, real soon. God bless.